In his discourse at the UN General Assembly, President Hassan Rouhani said Iran will react conclusively to any infringement of the 2015 atomic arrangement. By any gathering. Hitting back at Donald Trump's comments he said, I pronounce before you that the Islamic Republic of Iran won't be the primary nation to abuse the understanding, including that Tehran will react conclusively and unflinchingly to its infringement by any gathering. He went ahead to state that it will be an incredible pity if this ascension were to be wrecked by rebel newcomers to the universe of governmental issues, the world will have lost an awesome open door. In his deliver to the UNGA, Donald Trump called Iran a dangerous administration and said that the 2015 atomic arrangement consulted by his antecedent with the nation was a humiliation. RT reports. Rouhani at that point cautioned that by abusing its universal responsibilities, the better and brighter U.S. organization just decimates its own validity, and indeed said that Tehran does not plan to pull back from the arrangement and come back to atomic weapons advancement. Nonetheless, in August, Iran's leader cautioned that Tehran is prepared to pull back from the arrangement inside not a week or a month but rather inside hours and come back to its atomic program should Washington force new limitations against it. The Iranian pioneer at that point scrutinized the U.S. president's Tuesday discourse to the General Assembly, calling it uninformed, silly and scornful talk loaded with ludicrously unmerited charges. In his discourse, Trump called Iran a drained maverick express whose main fares are savagery, gore, and mayhem, saying that it stores psychological oppressors that execute blameless Muslims and assault their serene Arab and Israeli neighbors. A week ago, Trump implied that the U.S. may not reinsure Iran's consistence with the atomic understanding in October, including that Tehran damaged the soul of the arrangement. On Wednesday, the U.S. emissary to the U.N., Nikki Haley, made light of Trump's announcements by saying that the U.S. president's discourse at the UNGA does not imply that the U.S. intends to repudiate the arrangement. In the meantime, she said that the White House has grounds not to reinsure Iran's consistence with the understanding in October.